The Vikings take on the 49ers, and that's going to be a 435 Eastern kickoff in San Francisco. The Niners are the seven-point favorite total at 44 and a half. We saw a half a point fade of San Francisco and movement downward on the total. The Niners open seven and a half down to minus seven. Total open 45 and a half down to 44 and a hook. 53% of the consensus are leaning toward Minnesota. 52% shaded toward the under. And right now the Vikings are plus 265 on the money line. Now if you like the Vikings in this matchup here, just keep in mind they rank in the bottom 10 in passing, bottom 10 in offensive time of possession. They failed to cover the point spread against the likes of Denver and Washington this year. They also rank 21st in pass yards allowed on the road, and they're in the bottom 10 in defensive time of possession on the road. Now, San Francisco on the other side, arguably the best team in this whole tournament. They're 5-2 and two against the spread in their last seven. They have successful point spread covers over the likes of Seattle, New Orleans, Baltimore, and Green Bay this year. They rank the top 10 in scoring, top 3 in rushing. Raheem Mostert and Matt Breida, they're averaging over 5.1 uh, yards per carry apiece. Uh, they also have a combined 9 rushing touchdowns as well. And of course, Tevin Coleman, he's got 6, uh, six rushing touchdowns on the ground as well. Now San Francisco ranks in the top 5 in offensive time of possession. Top 10 in yards per play on average at home. Of course, Jimmy G, he's thrown for nearly 4,000 yards on the year, 27 touchdown passes. And George Kittle, the difference maker at tight end, he's got over 1,000 yards receiving, five touchdown catches. He's averaging 75 yards receiving a game. A couple more things that, uh, you know to add about this San Francisco squad. They rank in the top 10 in points allowed. And they're also in the top three in pass yards allowed as well. Uh, we're looking at... Uh, you know, Richard Sherman, who is a staple in the NFL, uh, of course, uh, one of the better uh, defensive secondary players in the league. He's got three interceptions on the year, 11 pass breakups, and of course, uh, not a lot of times is the ball thrown to his side. Now, Eric Armstead, he's got 10 sacks on the year, two forced fumbles. The San Fran squad ranks in the top three in yards allowed per play. They're also in the top 10 in defensive time of possession at home. You can't forget about Fred Warner, who's got 118 tackles on the year, three sacks, eight tackles for loss, and three forced fumbles. Now, when it comes to the injury report, just keep an eye on D. Ford, Jakiski Tart, and uh, Quan Alexander. These guys are listed as questionable for Saturday's action. Uh, but regardless, if you're betting the total, four out of San Fran's last four games all got over the number. They're also 80% to the over in their last 10. Meanwhile, six out of Minnesota's last nine got over the number themselves. They're also five and four to the over when traveling. So with all that said and done, I'm going to lean toward the home chalk in this one. Give me San Francisco minus seven and the over 44 and a half in that game. Before we go ahead and move on, just want to take a quick timeout and welcome you to the show. Got some lines of personal leans out for our NFL divisional playoff round but before we dive into some more of that i just want to quickly remind you to check me out on my website at patreon.com slash brock page where we do daily premium sports picks on that website beginning at just one dollar and 99 cents per month it's a lot of fun we have a lot of great members on that site made a lot of great friends and uh, it's really cool to, to see the camaraderie amongst the different uh, patrons amongst each other. Uh, it's a very inviting group, a very, uh, you know, gentlemanly group, a polite group. And uh, check it out. You know, if you don't, no big deal. Uh, I certainly appreciate you watching me here on YouTube. But, uh, you know, if you want a little bit more insight uh, on your picks for the divisional round, feel free to check it out. The link for that site is in the description section below. And you can also check out my current record uh, for free, right there on the homepage. Once again, that is patreon.com slash Brock Page. But of course, once again, no pressure to check that out. Uh, I like having you here on YouTube, and that is most important. And speaking of YouTube, let's go ahead and dive into some more free lines of personal leans right here on YouTube. All starts Eastern Standard Time. And on deck, we've got the Saturday night game. I'm talking about the Titans taking on the Ravens, 815 Eastern kickoff in Baltimore. The Ravens are the 9.5-point favorite total at 47. Now, we're seeing pretty good two-way action with regard to the sides. I'm not seeing a whole lot of movement there as of yet. Now, I did see a two-point move downward on the total. So, once again, Baltimore's minus 9.5, total open 49, down to 47. 54% are leaning Tennessee, 53% shaded toward the over. And right now, the Titans are plus 355 on the money line. <clears throat> now, the Titans... 